So EA dropped a heroic half-time player pick. This contains a UCL, UWCL, triple threat, or fantasy FC hero pick, one of three rated 88 or higher. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable ultimate team coins, check out MMOEXP.com. Link in the description, save 5% using code HABER. I like that you actually see the odds of what you can get to. So it's a 56% chance of a fantasy hero player, 86% chance of a UCL men's player, uh, UCL, yeah, I said that right. And then a 45% chance of a UCL women's player, um... 84% chance of them being 90 or above. Realistically, there's not a huge amount of players I'd be super excited with, but a fantasy Marquisio would be insane, or any of the new fantasy heroes, really. Let's see what we get, anyway, from our player pick. Oh. I mean... UCL Keesler. If it was Fantasy Keesler, I'd be a little bit more excited, I feel like. But the UCL Keesler's okay. They're all 90 rated. It's a shame I already have Rui Costa, I guess. I'm going to take Nadine Keesler as my UWCL hero. It's a cool concept, I guess. I'm glad that they're like putting the Fantasy Heroes into packs like straight away. Usually, we have to wait for like two promos in advance before we start getting the promos cards. Anyway, we're going to open up the uh, Halftime Elite Pack, which is an 85... Um, times 30, which is kind of nuts. This has a 98% chance of a Fantasy FC player. Obviously, we're looking for some of the big dogs, but there could be some decent fodder in this as well. It's an 85 times 30 at the end of the day, so we'll see what we get. Maybe a cheeky Fantasy Tevez, or who knows, really. I'm not even going to jinx it. I just want to get the best players here. I'm greedy. Give me everyone. All right, what are we saying? Hopefully, we can get something good here. We got ourselves Mo Salah. I mean, the double walkout was high rated. Cristiano Ronaldo there as well, but it's all about fantasy cards here. We do get two of them. Cal Hanoglu is very, very good as well. I'm actually really happy with Cal Hanoglu. Um, his upgrade path looks sick. He could get a really nice upgrade card. Um, and he's already almost Hullet Gang anyway. It's actually a really nice card. I do think Inter will probably progress quite well with their tasks they have to complete, I guess, to make him higher rated. We actually got four of them. Because we got Andre and Molina there in the dupes as well, along with all of this fodder, which is going straight into more packs. All right. I mean, I'm quite happy with that. Kyle Hanogli's worth about 450-ish K. So that's actually really, really good. It is currently 3 a.m. So apologies for me not being super loud. Um, but yeah, we got Carl as well. I mean, Carl, you know, Cal. Yeah, right, Cal. All right, I've got to put the fodder into the 88 plus base Thunderstruck or Winter Wildcard icon pick on my account. I have notoriously bad icon look. It's 3 a.m. It's not the time to give me a Thunderstruck DDO, although I'd take it right now. Let's just see if we can get someone even half decent. Let's go. Ooh, I'm actually really happy with that. I, I'm not going to lie to you. My heart sank when I saw two already owned. I'm really happy with that. Carlos Alberto is a class card to get on this game. Can play CB. Obviously got great stats for a CB and anticipate plus in the play styles. I bet he's a monster CB, to be honest. And I've actually been looking to replace 92 Maldini. Now, it is probably a skill issue, but since the latest patch, I can't defend. And Maldini is just so slow and so lethargic and really just not the card that i remember completing so again it's probably just me being really bad at the game but i'm really really excited to use him at cb that's a class card and he's worth about 800k so that's a w all right i've got to build the 383 plus times tens now um i don't think i'll get anything else right cal Hanoglu was super lucky from the uh store pack and you know we've done well with the icon pick we've made like one point three ish million nearly in players back today i don't expect anything but golds so, first of all, we've got Allison. I don't think... Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think anything in terms of, like, fantasies will pop up at the front of the pack unless there's no other walkouts. So, I mean, we'll see. All right, fodder put into a squad for Alex Scott. Second pack to open now. We've got a gold card again. Polish centre-back. Okay, there's definitely not a fantasy FC card in here because that's an 84 rated. I don't mind... I don't mind that I've used my luck up, all right? We've been very lucky today. That's completely fine. Third and final 83 times 10 on my account. What are we say in here? We've got ourselves a Croatian centre mid. Love to see Modric there because there's potential for a double walkout, which means there's potential for a Fantasy FC card at the back of the pack. And that's where our hopes stay alive, EA. We want to see Grizu. Griezmann would be fantastic. Chloe Kelly, uh, Marquinhos, anyone, you know? Let's see. Let's see what we get. If we get one, that is. 
Oh, we did get one as well. We got Benjamin Andre. Fair enough. I mean, I'll take it. We got another Fantasy FC card. Wasn't a great one. But I mean, Carlos Alberto, Cal Hanoglu, all the fodder we've had. I think I've done pretty well so far on my account. Let's switch accounts and open up some more stuff. All right, I'm on to my second account now. This account is a redundant account I don't use until team of the season. So I build it up throughout the year with untradeable packs. During team of the season, we use it as a second account for rewards. Don't know why I always feel the need to tell you guys. Pretty much all of you already know anyway. Whatever, I'm yapping. All right, 86 plus campaign pick first. Let's see what we get. Not great. Um, I'll just take the high. I'll just take Isco, highest rated. It doesn't really matter. Uh, fodder, basically. We have the icon pick now, which I'm not doing blind today. Are you... Oh, wow. Um, I don't know who I prefer there. I feel like Drogba's more expensive. I, I'm, I'm leaning towards Drogba anyway. Garincha's base card is still 800k. Are these... Are the icon picks just good now? Are they just good? I don't really know. Um, so, how is this Drogba? I mean, I'm, I'm going to take Drogba anyway, I think. 1.1 million. I just think Drogba's a bit more fun. A bit more, a bit more of an exciting card there. Uh, Four-star skills, five-star weak foot. Probably just an absolute monster in the air as well. So, get whipped pass on left and right mid. And you are laughing with this card up top. I'll take that. Let's go up to the store packs now. I don't know if EA just randomly decided to make the icon picks good today, but sheesh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys get in your icon picks. Um, and if you guys open the heroic halftime player pick or anything else, let me know in the comments down below what you guys get. And also make sure to leave a like if you do enjoy the video. I cannot describe how much it helps the channel if you like and subscribe to the videos. Like, you may not think it helps. It helps so much, especially in a time where... Let's be honest, this saber's not exactly popping like he used to. So, um, here we go with the hero player pick first. Let's see what we get. That is not great. We got ourselves Bon Pasteur as the only pick really worth taking there because it's the only non-duplicate. I mean, yeah, no, whatever. Um, it's not great, is it, to be honest? So, yeah, fair enough. Um, let's go and open up the Halftime Elite Pack now and see if we can get ourselves some Fantasy FC players. 98% chance, EA. 98% chance. That's what I'm saying, you know? We've got Griezmann, we've got Marquinhos, we've got Konate, we've got Ferla Mendy I keep forgetting about as well. The prices of some of these cards are ridiculous. I literally don't get it. And I do get it at the same time. Like, I, it's because most packs are untradeable and stuff now. You know, I understand why, but I also don't get it at the same time. Who's spending like seven mil coins in a, on a file of Mendy? Um, that being said, we've got Benjamin Andre and Molina. Okay, it's, it's it, you know, could have been better. We get, did you get two in the pack? Could have been a lot better there. A couple of informs and a couple of pretty average fantasy FC items. Not great. All right, we've got 383 times tens, but also an 85 plus pack as well. There's all my dupes. I just throw it into these. I literally, I'm not even kidding, right? These packs, I was putting like 90 rates in and then silvers because that's where my club's at, at the moment. Um, hello. My heart may have felt like it was coming out of my chest for a second. I saw French. I immediately thought, my first thought was Konate. My second thought was Furl and Mendy. And I thought, if I've just packed a 7 million coin card on an account I don't even use, I'll be sick. But it's fine. It's fine. Because I probably would have just used the account. I think that's probably the logical thing if you pack a card like that. Um, we do have ourselves a double walkout, which is good. Jamal Muziala uh, got a nice assist today against, like, well, yesterday against Leipzig. Um, what else we got in there? We've got Bernardo Silva. Do we have a cheeky fantasy card at the back as well? We've got two fantasy cards. Go on. We get Stark and Iago Aspas. I'll take it. That's solid. Like, I'm going to go and recover uh, Bernardo and Benjamin Andre. I do have five recoveries in this account. Um, I will say, like, this promo, it doesn't feel like the other promos where, like, Future Stars, you were just getting the worst ones constantly. It does feel like, although the pack weight's not great, like... It's not the worst in the world. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 somewhat still fun to get these in packs. Um, but I will say, like, we've had a lot of promos now where the top end cards just feel absolutely well and truly impossible to pack. Pretty much since team of the year, and I'm not saying that cards weren't really really hard to pack before then because they were, but like it feels like. There's like four or five good cards, and then the rest are just not great. And you can pack all the rest, but you'll never touch that top four or five. And that's what it's felt like for the last like five promos. So if you want to be generous, 
and start giving us some nice cards, that'd be great in packs, you know? Up the pack weight a little bit. Uh, that being said, we do not get another Foot Fantasy out of those 83 times 10s. But do you know what? I think that was pretty successful in my second account. All right, I've gone into my buddy Rob's account right now. Uh, we're opening up his heroic halftime player pick and his halftime elite pack. Uh, I've paid for the points, so uh, he's just going to log into his account and have some free stuff waiting there. And we got ourselves Fantasy Rui Costa is definitely the pick there. I mean, this card doesn't actually look that bad, but because Rui Costa was kind of a meh icon last year, I instantly just want to think that he's just going to be a meh hero as well. Um, the playstyles are okay. Flare Plus and First Touch Plus are okay. They're not great, but... It's all right. You know, I don't think the cards could be very expensive. I think a lot of people will probably think similar to me where it's just like, I just have like certain players in my head that I just don't care about basically. Um, and Rui Costa is one of them. Unless he got the most ridiculous super juice card ever, I probably would not care um, if EA give him more special cards. It's just because he, he was just always mid. Anyway, we've got the halftime elite pack now. Let's get some good fantasy FC cards for Rob. Come on, EA, please. We've got ourselves in form. Um, a Polish left winger from Wolfsburg. Inform Pod? Padjul? Padjul? I always get them mixed up. Um, Padjul and Donnarumma. That's actually really good. An 88 and an 89 rated Inform is class. We'll take that. That's a good start. Good, some, good. Can we get some good fodder, please, EA? Two more Informs there. Um, and then we've got some fodder. Do we have some Fantasy FC cards? We do. Nothing great, though. Andre, Stark, Iago Aspas. Not fantastic to be honest they're okay they're just not insane you know nothing to get super excited about i have to include this in the video because i'm just completing the icon pick for rob now um and i decided you know what we'll just quickly open up the packs that we have available uh to see if we can get some 83 84 rate cards really uh first pack i don't even know what pack this was we're going to get ourselves fantasy fc stark cannot complain very happy about that thank you very much it's like 10 15k tradable cannot complain whatsoever you know very happy about that listed her up actually just to take the sort of 10 to 12k that we'll get back for her um rare mixed players pack right there right after uh ooh, what's this another blue flare interesting a germany striker where have we seen this before it's another fc stark so uh i don't know i just thought it was weird we just packed back to back uh fantasy fc starks i mean i'll take it 20k thank you very much yeah all right now we've got Rob's icon pick. He's not going to see this until tomorrow. So I'd love to get him a huge icon, then just log out and him to log in and just see like an R9 or something, you know? That'd be incredible. All right, here we go. Come on, EA. Can we get something good for Rob, please? Here we go. Eh, uh, Leviashin's good. Don't get me wrong. Leviashin is good. I just don't think Rob would be that excited by it. He actually, to be fair, he actually might. You know, he the, the hat. The hat is probably enough to actually make Rob quite excited about that. Would have loved the Winter Wild card. He's a half million coin icon. So, cannot complain. I just was really hoping to get something insane. But you know what? I think that's pretty good. We'll take that. I think that's all right. All right, same drill. Orlando's account now. I do get a lot of Instagram messages from you guys uh, asking how I can go on your account and buy the packs for you. Uh, if you come into my streams and stuff like that, there's links down below or on Twitter. Uh, that's sort of the best place where we can we can try and get something like that. I do like giving back to you guys. I want to try and open packs for you guys as much as possible. Um, and we do little giveaways on the streams and stuff like that in order to uh, sort of help some of you guys out that maybe need a boost in the club, you know. Um, so, yeah, whenever we get a good sort of new store pack or something, like uh, make sure to come by the streams. And, uh, and yeah, you might be in contention to win uh, some FC points to open them, really. And then we can open the video, video for you as well. So, for those that have been messaging me and whatnot, that's sort of how we do it. Uh, it's not a flex. I'm not trying to like seem like some great guy for spe like paying for these packs for people. It's not like that. It's more so just the fact that, like you know, I, I get content out of this, and it'd be kind of rubbish if I made other people pay for their own packs and then I get the content as well. Like and I get paid for it. It's just, it doesn't feel right. So I just, you know, anyway, I don't think I had to explain any of that. A whole lot of yapping. I do apologize. Hero pick now for Orlando. Let's see what he gets. He's not logged in, logged in on this account in quite a while. So I feel like there's going to be some good pack luck coming. We get Lizzo or Kiesler. I'm going to take Lizzo or Lizarazu. Um, we'll take him and store him into the club. And we have, oh, we got an 85 plus pack first. Let's open up the 85 plus pack. There you go. We get ourselves a fantasy FC card. We got a Italian right winger called Politano. Very nice. Like I said, he's not logged in in a while. In fact, I'll show you how long it's been since he logged in. You ready for this? 
He's got all of the Academy packs unopened. Um, I think he might have switched to PC, so maybe I've just wasted my money opening packs on his account, but content. Halftime Elite Pack now. Let's see if we get something insane for him. We do get ourselves an Inform. It's going to be, well, you know, probably isn't going to be the face guy. We're going to get Allison and then an Inform behind him. I'm going to guess Donnarumma behind him. That's my guess. Have we got a Donnarumma behind him? No. No, we don't. We got ourselves another Pajor, 88 rated. Fair enough. I was wrong. I do apologize. I wasn't familiar with your game, EA. Um, let's see if we get any good fantasy cards. Kalhanoglu again. Go on. Two Kalhanoglu's is solid, man. That's a solid card. We'll take that. That is decent. Another four, 500k card right there. So, well, it's more like 400k. But yeah, we'll take it. That's really good. That is a really good card. And I think Inter will definitely get... Uh, I think he'll probably get all of his upgrades, to be honest. Now for the icon pick for Orlando. Can we get a good icon? Here we go. Bono, back in the club. Icon time. Muller's not bad. It's a shame it's not his Thunderstruck, but base Muller is still definitely a usable card. It's a, yeah, a bit of a shame it's not his Thunderstruck. It, or like, def I think it's like five times less the price. That's not English, Ryan. He's like 20% of the price. There you go. That makes a lot more sense. Oh, I'm, it's 4am. Allow me. I'm having a bit of a stinker there. But not a great pick. Not awful, but not great.